Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Truth World Told Tarot. This is your weekly reading for week commencing 21st of January 2019 for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising. I hope you're well, Cancer. So I'm just pulling the cards, waiting on the right ones to fall out. And if they don't, I'll choose them after a few shuffles. I'll also pull two Angel Oracle cards for further clarification. So, four more cards, please. Oh. Oh, wait. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Perfect, thank you. All right. And two Archangel cards. Again, what does Cancer need to know? We're commencing 21st of January 2019. Oh, that's one. What does Cancer need to know? That's the second one. Thank you. Okay, just give me a moment, Cancer. So I'm going to take the Six of Cups as the first reading. And just to highlight the cards, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Three of Cups, we have the Chariot, and we have the Two of Wands. Six of Cups, it can be about an old relationship coming back from the past. It could be somebody who maybe you were involved with. It could be an old friendship as well. People from the past appearing for a reason. And it's maybe to teach you something, something, some kind of like learning or message that you need to receive. It might also be the fact that they may come back and want to pick up where they left off. It could well be a renewal of love. But this card also talks about how our past experiences shape our future. And I think you've done a lot of searching, a lot of growth, yeah, a lot of finding and a lot of, you know, beginning to find that stability. The sixth is about harmony, finding harmony and balance, maybe after a period of imbalance. And I think certainly for some of you, you're getting there. You're in a good place. So if you do have resurrections from the past, people trying to start something up in terms of love, this card is talking about if it suits you, if this is something that fits in with your life now, and will it add balance to you or will it disrupt that balance? And that's the message of the card, really. But I kind of think when I also talked about past experiences shaping our future, I think you've grown in the past. And maybe there was a difficult situation somewhere where you... I'm sensing some kind of frustration with some of you. Frustration, experiences of the past. Frustrating experiences that maybe kept you a little bit stuck. But you're looking to release that. You're looking to release because you want to move forward now. You're eager to move forward. You have, on the right hand, you have your world in, the hand, in your hand. This is about beginning to look at your life. This is a life review for the long term. You see how these hills in the background go into the distance for hundreds of miles. And this person is making a choice as well. He's making a choices in his life. Choices that suit him. So this is about beginning to take action and focus on your needs reviewing what areas of your life you want to improve. And when you talk about past people maybe resurrecting, coming up from the past, um, 
it is actually how they fit into your vision for the future, where you want to improve your life for the better, where you want to go from here. This could be about going for new careers, new opportunities for success, new opportunities to start a business. The ones uh, have leaves on them, they're growing. So there's opportunity to provide growth in your life. There's opportunity for growth. And it's up to you in what area of life you want to grow and expand. But I, can, I think certainly here, you've learned the lessons of the past and you won't repeat them. You've learned them and you're going to use, it's almost turning that negative into a positive. You're going to use the negative experience and the positive experiences to make you stronger. You see the world is in your hand to shape your future in the way you want it to be shaped now. And I don't think you're going to allow anybody else. And it doesn't really matter whether you're in a relationship or not. You won't allow anybody else to distract you from improving your life for the better and grabbing hold of opportunity and potential when it presents itself. Yeah. And I think, yeah, I mean, this is, this is about messages, communication, good news coming in. The one's energy, fast moving energy. I think you're beginning to find your ambition. Uh, this is about beginning to take action. This is about beginning to be open to receive. And it might well be that you're open to receive love. You're open to receive opportunity in business. You're open to receive money, potentially. Um, this is the this is about allowing releasing from the past and having that forward movement so when we open up to the universe and are more positive we're taking action we're more inspired inspiration because he's wearing a red hat um this is about being inspired this is mentally inspired this is about having the mental acuity the mental intelligence to plan for the long term to understand where you want to improve in your life and know how to do it you're shaping your world to suit you and this is about being open to receive messages communication opportunities coming at you in a fast direction. I mean, some of you could have a number of opportunities presenting themselves this week. As I say, and it's a general reading, it could be potentially in love. It could also be in business. It could be to do with making more money as well. It could be opportunities to grow either way. Um, and you see the, the river at the bottom here, there's like a river. This is also a card of you can't make things happen as much as you plan and strategize. The world will move at a certain pace because obviously the universe is involved in um, fate, destiny, enriching your life for the better as well in its own divine timing. So you can make the most of your life as much as you can, but this is about going with the flow as well. So allowing things to unfold naturally, don't force them. Things will come to you. This is about opportunities being presented to you. And I think this is where you're actually having this conscious decision to move forward and release. Because when you look at the chariot, you know, this is um, made of stone. The, he, the, the chariot sits on the floor. The sphinxes aren't actually galloping fast they're actually sitting there with their arms folded. And this is about a journey. You can see the journey in the distance. He's left these castles, these buildings in the past and is moving forward, eyes on the prize, focused on a goal with balance, with a goal, with balance. So black and white, yin and yang, moving forward with purpose and balance now. Balance, absolutely. And this really is about a release of the mind. You know that saying, faith can move mountains? It is about the power of the mind and the conscious decision to move forward, the conscious decision to want to succeed, the conscious decision to add value, enrich your life for the better, and go after what you want. This is taking action. This is the know-how to take action. This is moving from A to B. So that's the beauty of the chariot. It's this mental release, this mental release of the past. Now, this is always, it also talks about fast-moving energy, 
progression. Your life progressing with pace. That's the victory. This is the victory. It's the victory in the mind that decide the conscious decision to move forward, the conscious decision to go for what you want in life and to invest time and effort, to invest your energy. I feel there's, there's an investment here of you. There's an investment of you, a desire, a passion to achieve. And I think you will. I think you will, Cancer. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is about material security. This is about um, sustainable material security, happiness, um, wealth, prosperity, money coming into your life, potentially for some of you. But you see the generations here. This is all about the family. This is about taking care of you, the family, protecting what you care about, protecting the people that you care about. Um, also in relationships, if there are potential relationships coming back to you from the past, um, this can also be a sign of commitment. So yeah, I mean, as I say, the cards can work in a number of ways, but um, maybe there is potential commitment along the way um, that enables you to feel more secure and go after what you want in life now, your passions, your... But it's your journey. This is your journey and it's how people add value to, to you as well as how you add value to their life. And this is the Three of Cups. This can be um, positive communication. It can talk about um, collaboration. It can talk also about really celebrating an achievement. And there is victory in this, in this card. There's also a completion here, an achievement and attainment of a goal. Material security, prosperity, happiness, protecting your home, people you care about, and also some kind of like commitment maybe. So this may be about how two people's cups can pour into your cup. Pour happiness, emotional stability, emotional enrichment. How people who you care about, who you depend on, can add value to your life and you to theirs. And that is what it is about the sixes as well. It's that balance, it's that, it is that give and take. It is appreciating other people as you appreciate your own journey and being aware of that. But it's very positive reading, Cancer. The first one is Divine Order, Archangel Regal. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. And that's true. The universe has very much a say in our fate and destiny. So it's again, like I said, yes, you can push forward with, with passion, with drive, but there's a universal inspiration as well. And there's part of you, certainly for part of this reading, it is also appreciated that you need to be more aware and go with the flow. Um, and not push yourself too hard um, to the point where you don't feel like you're achieving and get frustrated. This is about being open to move forward. That's what the chariot is about and that's the victory. It's the open, being open to achieve. And once you are open to achieve, open in the mind, it comes from within. This is when the universal energy can bring good news, good messages, good opportunity into you. The second card is remember who you are. Archangel Michael, you are a powerful, loving and creative child of God. You are very loved. And I think this is you. I think this is you coming back to you, remembering who you are and beginning to take control in your own life. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Cancer. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.